Hey there, Pisces. How you doing, babe? It's your girl, Jalissa. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, follow me wherever you found me. Thank you so much. Blessed. All right, so I got a message for you. First of all, let me show you my candle because, honey, yes, I must promote. <laughs> this is my almond macaron candle. It brings in money and opportunities. It smells good. It looks good. And it's 40% off along with everything on my shop. So, guys, take advantage. It's only till the end of the year, which is literally approaching, okay? Let's manifest some blessings. Okay, so let's get a look. <laughs> All right, Spirit, what is Pisces angel number? Thank you. All right, Pisces, your angel number is 241. All right, so go to your search engine, put in 241 angel number meaning, and bam, there goes your first message from Spirit. All right. Let's see what we got here. The number seven could be significant. Okay. Tell me, Spirit, what is Pisces' message here today with me? I'm going to make this kind of quick. I, I'm, I'm saying that. I'm trying that. But listen, it is what it is. We have the harp here. Great happiness is coming in for you, Pisces. All right? Because I got to do all signs today. All right? But yeah, I see great happiness coming in for you. Okay? First, I see something being unsuccessful here with the knot. All right? So something about entanglement. All right? Something's tangled, and you're not meant to untangle it. You're meant to just, like, cut the cord. Sometimes, you know, it... We have to, like, you know, it, it's kind of like you have to weigh your options, right? And you also have to choose your battles wisely. And I'm getting something's unsuccessful, so you're cutting cords with that, all right? But that brings you happiness. We have the flowers here, all right? So a lot of happiness in regards to you getting away or cutting cords with something that's unsuccessful. We have the elephant here, too. Wow, that's such a beautiful, strong energy. It also speaks about prosperity and good luck. You have a long journey ahead of you, Pisces, is what I'm seeing. This is either a physical journey or a mental journey. Either way, you're going to be left with more wisdom at the end of the day. I see a vacation here for you, Pisces. You're going on vacation. And someone's going to be, like, big mad about it with the bear here. Like, Rawr! like where you think you're going, Pisces? All right? Danger, especially when money matters. All right? So be very careful because I see a position of authority being offered to you. Okay? And I'm getting people are going to be a little jealous and upset. Not a little. A lot. All right? Why? Because these people are lacking with the barrow. All right? I'm getting that's the entanglement. Like, you may be... Um, attached or you may be entangled with someone who is lacking money resources or something like that and so by you embracing this beautiful opportunity here with all this happiness i'm getting great happiness due to a position that's being offered to you this could be hate at work all right or this could be hate with like um someone close to you because you're outstanding and you're um you're exceeding this person you know people get jealous and i see you in a very good position and with that bear um this could be a relative uh, it could be a mother a father or a spouse or something like that but i'm getting um whatever it is or whoever it is they lack in and so that's it's a woman all right we have woman here it's a woman is what i'm getting all right so put it where it resonates but i'm seeing this woman very upset with your blessings and with your happiness we have the ant here. You're a hard worker. Ants work really hard, and they also work together, okay? So I'm getting you work very well with others. That's why you're receiving some sort of achievements and success in your endeavors, okay? We have the kangaroo. So right now, things are not settled is what the universe wants you to know. You need to plan ahead because I'm getting that there's a lot coming in with the scales. Things are about to weigh themselves out with the wishbone. You got the wishbone, Pisces. All right, so this is a wish being granted in the form of opportunities and endeavors. And I see you very, very happy because, honey, it's good opportunities, all right? Bluebirds is giving me um, Over the Rainbow by that Hawaiian singer somewhere. <laughs> Over the rainbow, bluebirds fly. There's a land that I heard of once in a lullaby. You'll go way back with this woman. All right, but I see you, like, untangling. Not untangling, but cutting cords with someone you go way back with. Could be a family member. Could be a spouse. Take, put it where it resonates. All right, um, because the reason you're, like, cutting cords is because this person's holding you back in one way or another. All right, so let's get more. Spirit, talk to me. What else Pisces needs to know? Bless your your beautiful blessings coming in. All right, so we do have the chariot here. 
Okay. We have the Six of Cups. Someone's coming back. Someone you may have blocked is coming back to you. The Five of Cups hurt. Apologetic. I'm getting someone hurts you in the past, and they're coming back. You may have blocked this person, or this person may have blocked you. All right? They're coming back like, hi, Pisces. You remember me? <laughs> they're coming back hurt. They may have hid their pain. All right? But I'm seeing that they want to cross this bridge with you is what they're... So they're coming in to cross a bridge. Okay? Yeah, they feel like you guys have unfinished business. All right? So this could be someone you grew up with or someone you know from way back when. All right? Yeah, with the page of swords in reverse, something was left unsaid. I'm getting there could be like legal problems with this person. You could be facing some legal problems with this person, possibly because of money or a child. I'm getting this person's going to come back because they feel like they got unfinished business with you and they sad. Nine of Pentacles, they see you shining or they see you doing very well for yourself. This is one of the reasons they're coming back. But I'm getting they're blocked. So maybe they're finding like a way in or something. Um, yeah, you're having victories after victories, Pisces. I'm seeing it. You're getting public recognition, and I see you self-sufficient here. Like, you're making your own cheddar. Like, you're not relying on anyone for your money. And you're giving luxury vibes, wealth, okay? So you have a lot of money. The elephant does speak about a lot of money, all right? Um, so you have strong, long-term money coming in, and you're going to be looking really good. Yeah, look, your stability's here. You look stable, baby. You're doing good. You manifested this with the magician, and you work so freaking hard for this. Like, this is you working hard for these beautiful accolades, for these beautiful opportunities. And they're being given to you because you deserve them. You're a hard worker. And so, yeah, I just see that um, somebody's going to want to come in. But with the Wheel of Fortune here in reverse and the Nine of Cups here in reverse... I'm getting someone's very selfish, and do not take this person back. Do what you please, free will, okay? But for what I'm seeing here, though, the warning is that this is bad luck, all right? Somebody has a lot of bad karma. Well, karma karma doesn't have to be bad, all right? Karma is debt, right? But this person has a lot of debt, all right? Bad karma. And it's connected to their aura. It's connected to their field, um, their journey. So they have a lot of debt to pay off to the universe, and it's their doing. And I'm getting it's because they're very selfish. They're very, very selfish, very greedy. Um, and so this person is seeing you as like this shiny object because, honey, like you're shining, okay? You're literally getting to the bag all by yourself. And you worked hard to get this. You busted your ass to get this. And um, so I'm getting that. This person with the page of swords in reverse, you don't know, but they're watching your money. Like, they're watching you work or they're watching your money. And I'm getting with um, the world in reverse that you have closed out this chapter and you're already going to the next level in your life and you manifested this. So I don't feel like you're really giving this person the time of day, but they are going to come in really sad. Let me see what their um, their intentions are. What are their intentions with Pisces? What is this person's intentions with Pisces? This person that's coming back that originally was blocked or cut off or something like this. What is their intentions? Listen. Hurt me once, shame on you. Hurt me twice, shame on me. All right? You should you should know better. All right? But listen to your own intuition. Tell me more. What are this what is this person's intentions? We have the love bomb. The love bond. All right, emotional connection, unbreakable bond. They want to fall in love. Surprise. Yeah, they want to surprise you and, like, fall in love again. They're going to surprise you with a love offer. What a prick. All right, be careful. We have the cap this year. This person is unkind, and they have bad intentions. I said, what's their intentions? It says it right there, bad intentions. They got bad intentions, Pisces. All right, be careful. This person is emotionally unavailable, but they're going to act like they are. All right, because you're truly stable. You're truly stable. All right, and they want that stability. They want that family, that union, or that stability within the family because of you. Because you're going to bring that stability in is what they see with this new fortune that's coming your way. All right, so that's what I got for you, Pisces. I love you so much, and I hope I helped you in any way, shape, or form. Happy holidays. Happy New Year's. Mwah. See you in the next one. Deuces. Bless.